Oh my god. Um, I feel awful. <laughs> I stayed up till 3 a.m. last night and then didn't <clears throat> wake up until noon. So that was really not a good decision. Um, I'm about to make a face scrub because I have some blackheads and that's frustrating. And I noticed this while I was uh, plucking my eyebrows because I have this mirror that I got for Christmas that like magnifies your face five times and so now I can see every single imperfection so therefore I must fix it. I'm gonna make the brown sugar and coconut oil spray for my face. I'm just taking some coconut oil about that much Coconut oil really does go a long way though. You don't need a whole lot. Max is waving. This is Trader Joe's Organic Virgin Cold Pressed and Unrefined Coconut Oil. Now I'm gonna get some brown sugar and put a little bit in here. I don't have a recipe, but I've seen people do this before, so I'm just kind of putting some in there. Max is making cereal in the oh, background, so he's being really loud. Hush, Max. I despise you. This is some coconut oil and some brown sugar. I did about equal parts-ish, maybe a little bit more of the sugar, and I'm just going to mix it up and put it on my face. Because my skin is all dry and gross, and I need to exfoliate it. Hello once again. I'm going to do this face thing. My hair has gotten so thick, I don't even know what to do with it, honestly. Like, I mean, I can do cute things with it, but I kind of have to pin it back, at least on the sides, um, now, because it's just big. Ooh, that's attractive. Okay, I made my little scrub, and now I'm gonna exfoliate my face. Really excited about this, actually, because I haven't gotten to exfoliate my face in a really long time because we don't have brown sugar or coconut oil in my dad's house. Mm, this is really messy. Mm, nice. Yeah, I did not eat as much as I thought I would, but uh, yeah. So I just scrubbed my face with my fingertips, um, exfoliated, massaged it into my skin for about two minutes or so, and then I washed my face with CFL to get the coconut oil off because let me tell you guys, coconut oil does not come off your face with just warm water, no, that stuff will stick to you. Um, and then I did my little weird Japanese blackhead and sebum soap, basically my regular old skincare routine plus a sugar scrub. And honestly, it felt so nice, it was really invigorating, and my skin just feels like flushed and nice and it was so soft and oh my god it feels so smooth and I mean there's still visible texture on my skin I mean you can't really tell from the camera but I do feel like it helped and I do think that it actually might have gotten a couple of my blackheads out so that was really really cool I will definitely be doing this again I don't know how often you're supposed to do scrubs but I'll probably do it tomorrow because I'm extra anyways my hair is confused and I am having a hard time getting up still, so I'm totally going to just take a bath or shower maybe. I haven't decided yet. And eat some food and tea and I'll be right back. I'm going to try and trim my bangs really quick because I'm going to get my nose pierced, apparently. And I would like to look nice, I guess, or something. I don't know. I'm just, I'm pampering myself and trying to look good and take my time getting ready so that I maybe don't have a literal panic attack. I'm terrified. I'm not gonna film actually getting the needle through my nose because I'm just not. Like, no thank you. Um... Because I've watched a ton, and I mean a ton, like all of them that I could find, of videos on YouTube 
with people getting their nose pierced. And at one, one of them that I watched, the guy like said to the girl who pulled out the camera like, oh, um, it's always like 10 times worse for them if they um, have a camera on them while the piercing is like going on. So she pretended to stop filming so that the girl wouldn't freak out while well, she got it pierced, and when she got up, she said it didn't even hurt. But, so, on most of the videos that I watched, I think that that's good. I just wanted to kind of trim, make them a little bit more even, because they are growing out some, and kind of tame some of the pieces around my face. But yeah, uh, while the people were getting pierced, the most of the time, if the piercer went really fast and kind of told them to breathe and was talking to them and calming them down and the person was calm when it happened, they didn't even realize that they were being pierced and they were kind of like, oh, that didn't hurt at all, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe it was just a slight pinch and their eyes watered a little bit. But I noticed that like in the videos anyway, when the person was really stressed out and the piercer kind of was dawdling or going kind of slow, they got more nervous and it hurt really bad. So I'm going to a place, I looked up a ton of reviews and it seems like a really good parlor or whatever. The tattoo and piercing shop has been around forever and the person who um, does the piercings, I looked up Google reviews and I read like all of them from up to even five years ago. Like this shop has been around for years and years and years. Longer than five, obviously, but I didn't read like forever. But anyways, I was reading reviews and um, the people said that this dude made the piercing like procedure really fast and um, calmed them down and asked questions and like took, took, um, took time to like you know, calm you down beforehand, and that the procedure itself was really fast and painless. So I really, really am excited and looking forward to getting my septum pierced. I wanted it done since I think I first got kind of interested in it, in it when I was like nine, because my aunt has her septum pierced, and I always thought that that looked so cool, and I wanted it done, but I was like nine, so that wasn't an option, obviously, and. I just kind of stopped thinking about it because I figured I would have to wait till I was like 18 or something. And then I realized, oh my god, like I'm old. I'm, you know, older. I could get a hole punched in my face. So I have some Christmas money and I'm totally doing it. And I'm excited. I've done my research. I've watched everything that I could possibly have watched. And I'm ready to get this hole punched in my face. Terrified. But ready. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna um, do my face and get ready, and I will see you in a little bit. Um, probably right before I go in, but I'm not gonna film in the shop because I really don't want to psych myself out. Sorry if you wanted to see that, but no. And then I will show you afterwards. I need some mac and cheese because I didn't realize that um, mom had planned on uh, taking us out to eat when she got home. So this is just a little snack. It's really not that much. It's not. <laughs> um, so I've got a little while before we go get my face pierced. I've got some water and some hot tea. It's chamomile, citrus, chamomile, citrus, whatever the heck. And I feel sick to my stomach. I'm actually horrified and I'm trying to calm down. I'm we so are scared. taking Ted on a quick walk and I did my makeup using the Swamp Queen palette by Tarte and Graveyard Girl and this is um, Double Dare by Kat Von D. We both look emo today. Very true. Max, say hi. Ted! Oh! I'm terrified. I'm trying not to cry. I'm so scared of this because, uh, just reasons. I'm scared that something will go wrong, that the piercer will go through my cartilage. Oh my god, it's starting to rain. I'm scared that it will go wrong, that something, somehow, no matter the fact that this piercer is very reputable and has all good reviews and Natalie, that he's been toilets. around forever. Hold on, Max. I just am still terrified that something is going to go wrong, but I'm getting my nose pierced. I, once again, am not going to film it because, no, 
I don't want to stress myself out having the camera on me while I've, I'm getting a needle punched also, through I don't my nose. Think they would let you. But I, no, they do. There's tons and tons and tons of videos of it on YouTube, but I will tell you all about it afterwards. Oh my God, I'm so freaking out. I need to calm down. We're gonna go eat at. Squirrel. Hi, baby. We're gonna uh, go eat at what is it called? Uh, Burger Works. Burger Works. Um, before awesome. we go. So yeah. I will not Wait, faint. Wait, you're going all these sorts of mirror. Did I get it even? <laughs> Max is a dork. No, I don't want to have just like a big chunk of forehead. Yeah, no, I understand. So, yeah, I'm rambling. I'm trying not to. No. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, Madeline. update on the hair. I um. Come on, Ted. Madeline, I'm pretty sure you <laughs> can tell what you did to your hair. No, I washed it, and it does not seem to have faded all but a little um off my scalp which is good that it washed off my scalp. But um, yeah, no, the hair dye is sticking good. But yeah, we're gonna walk Ted, go eat, and then we're gonna get my nose pierced. I'm terrified, help. No, I am. This is my outfit of the day. I've got my combat boots. These are from Canyon River Blues, and I have paint splattered them. And I'm wearing a dress that is very cool. I don't know who it's from. I'll try and put it on the screen if I can figure it out. But it's really pretty, it's got poofy sleeves. And I'm wearing this jacket that I got from Ross because it's warm. And my little purple backpack comes with me everywhere. <gasps> Just happened. Dork. All right, Max is wearing all black as per usual, plus jeans. What face? What face are you making? <laughs> mean. <laughs> no. All right, Ted, what are you doing? Nobody's gonna you make me film it. No. Thing in my nose. I really like it. Here, Max, you're being so slow. I love it. It's so cute. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not touching it. Oh my god. That was awesome. It pinched a lot. Uh, 16 gauge. Um, it pinched really bad. Like it wasn't. It was not a pinch. It was like a weird like feeling. It was unlike. It wasn't like a pinch. I don't even know what you would call that feeling. It was like a click <laughs> more. I don't know. I think there was almost there was almost like this part. It was like a thick click. It was like 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 um uh a pop almost, but not. It was more like a clunk than a pop or a click or a pinch. It was it was a really strange feeling, and I totally squeezed my eyes like crazy, and was my eyes were watering like just gushing immediately. But after about like 45 seconds, I would say, no exact 45 seconds, make it 44. Um, it stopped hurting. Now it just feels weird. Like there's a thing in my nose. So yeah. It looks so cute, oh my god. That was awesome. If you guys are in Asheville, Greg is very cool. He's at Empire Tattoo. It was um, $35, I tipped 15, so it was 50 for me, and that was fantastic. He talked me through it. I felt very comfortable. It was super quick, and it didn't hurt that bad, so yay. Oh, oh my god, it feels so weird in the cold, like going outside because it's metal in my face and so it just gets really like intense for a second and hurts a little bit more. Laughing makes it feel weird. My makeup is completely ruined, oh my god. I used the uh, Swamp Queen palette. I've been experimenting with this. It's 
experimenting and I was so excited because I did a really cool smoky eye. Oh my god, raising my eyes makes my nose feel weird. Oh, this is so strange. You don't realize how your face is all kind of connected to your nose until you get this done and then you're like, oh, every time I move my face, I can feel it. Uh, but yeah, I was so excited about my smoky eye and then, and then, <laughs> it was so bad. There was like a black ring. I just tried to clean it up a little bit and you can still see like, I'm just gonna do this because raising my eyebrows hurts. But do you see that? <laughs> so, it was the weirdest feeling. It wasn't like, he said it was a pinch. He said it was easy and uh, that was not like a pinch. It was like, I don't know. A pinch to me was getting my ears pierced. That was so quick. Um, but uh, he did totally calm me down. That was really cool. He talked, he did not rush which was cool. He wasn't like, come on now, get a pierced or whatever. I don't know why I thought that it would be like that, but I did. Um, and he was just chill, talking, very cool, normal guy. He was just chill and calmed me way down before. And I, he got me laughing even, so that was awesome. I was, I was ready. And <laughs> he said, um, how old are you? And I, oh my God, okay. In the very beginning when he had to like stick his fingers on my nose to like feel where it was he hi cat poster So so grungy am I right? <laughs> and he said Well now I'm gonna stick my fingers in your nose But let me at least ask your name first and I was like Madeline and he was like, okay, cool How old are you and I was like 15. He was like, oh cool Um, you're not nervous are you and I said, oh no, I'm terrified <laughs> and he said really it's usually the 15 year olds that don't give a shit <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it tickles when I laugh it's the weirdest feeling. Stop. This is awkward. Um, I want to touch it, but also no. So, when he put the tong, the clamp, that was what actually hurt the most. Like, the actual piercing sucked, but having the clamp in was just weird. Like, I don't know which hurt more. It was, it did not feel like nothing. I was hoping it would, but for me, it did feel like something. It was very weird. Um, so the clamp pinched. Ow. Mm -hmm. I need to not make animated face expressions because it makes it kind of feel like a small little pinch or twinge. Um, and tickle. It tickles. Mm. Every time that I laugh. So I keep having to go like this. <laughs> that was awful. Um, the clamp's pinched. And that was really weird. And then um, when you put the needle in, I could like see it in my nose. Like when I was looking down, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Having it like in my face didn't hurt, but like when it went through, and he was really quick with it, but it just felt like a clunk. It wasn't a pinch, it wasn't like a pop of anything, because obviously he didn't go through my cartilage, you know what he was doing, he found like the spot, the sweet spot or whatever. And um, oh my god, it was so strange, basically. And it hurt really bad, and I was going like this, like, like scrunching my eyes up all the way, and tears were just immediately, like so quickly, just psh all down my face and he was saying careful now your makeup is gonna run <laughs> that was great but yeah and like after I um lay down and he put the captive bead in I was just breathing because I felt like I was kind of gonna puke for a minute because I was just lightheaded and I was like okay I gotta chill and uh when I sat back up um I got back up and like looked at the piercing in the mirror or whatever and it's so cute I love the placement it's so Stop cute. recording, but basically about 30-40 seconds after it got pierced, it didn't hurt anymore. It just kind of felt intense and weird. It was the weirdest feeling because I didn't feel it didn't feel how I imagined it would feel having like a thing in your nose. It I don't even know how to describe it. It's just the weird feeling. But when he was putting the captive bead in, that hurt because he had to like use some other clamps to like open it and whatever, and that pinched so bad. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> But uh, the overall experience was really cool and he was super chill and let me just sit for a minute so I wouldn't like pass out or anything and uh, yeah, it was a really, really cool experience and, they were and really I cool. love how it looks but I'm going to run out of storage so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much and I hope that you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are. Wish me luck with this ridiculous thing because it feels so strange. I don't have to clean it till tomorrow morning so enjoying that. He also gave me this to figure out how to clean it. And it was $35, I forgot to mention, and I tipped 15 so I paid 50 for mine, which is an awesome price, I think. And it was super worth it, and I love it. And uh, I called right after I left because I forgot to ask if I should clean it tonight, and they said I could wait till tomorrow morning, so that's... I might make videos about it in the future, but for now, 
This is my piercing. Much excite. All right, bye. <laughs> Mwah.